time, it's a New Mexico staple. Every year, farmers harvest thousands of tons of chili. And every year, the industry brings in hundreds of thousands of dollars for the state. But some companies are capitalizing off New Mexico's good name. Now lawmakers are stepping in to put it to a stop. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is here with all the details. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Crystal. Now, the word hatch is known around the world. Thousands gather for their annual festival, and chili enthusiasts recognize the word as a standard for quality. But these days, you can't always be sure you're getting the real deal. People ask for it by name. It's a big part of what draws people to New Mexico in the first place. Hatch chili. It's been making New Mexicans proud for generations. Known for its flavor and heat, it's an ideal condiment. But not all chili is as it seems. And this is an issue that we've been fighting here in New Mexico for the last 25 years or, or more. Hatch Chili store founder Preston Mitchell is talking about mislabeled Hatch Chili. He says it's a big problem and a serious threat to farmers. The yeast company are able to buy chili for $100 a ton less coming out of Mexico. That's significantly more than the margin on a ton of chili. So they're able to buy chili at below a local farmer's cost from Mexico. And if they can turn around and brand it as a New Mexico product or a hatch product and they're able to charge the same amount at market, it just destroys the, the demand for uh, actual American grown. Mitchell and others on the Hatch Chili Association board took the issue to the feds. They don't believe consumers should have to gamble on where their hatch chili comes from. To certify hatch chili, uh, such that you can only advertise chili as hatch chili if it's grown in a specific growing area around hatch. The group has a gripe with a company marketing its chili as hatch, even though it doesn't all come from Hatch, New Mexico. Now a New Mexico lawmaker is speaking out too. We want to make sure that, the, that, um, that we have a, a set of rulings that really support uh, the idea of locally geographic Chili. U.S. Senator Martin Heinrich says he wants to see more honesty in labeling. He says he's proud of what growers are doing to protect their name. Mitchell says they appreciate support at the federal level, but says their best defense are the laws already on the books meant to protect against false advertising. I think there just needs to be a little more enforcement. We spoke to the Hatch Chili Company. They say to accuse them of false advertising is a distortion of the truth. Representatives say the owner of their company has moved to Georgia, but maintains that the majority of their products still come from New Mexico. Plus, they say they are strong supporters of the chili industry here. Their plant is in Deming. Back to you. All right, thanks, Catherine. Now, Mitchell says there are not a lot of avenues for businesses to combat others lying about their product. That is, unless they actually do take them to court.